All right. Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow Cretans. It's still Mr. Shachau here. We are still looking at our number patterns, right? Now, so let's look at these past exam questions and see in terms of how can we go about in answering these types of questions, right? Now, so uh, 3.1, if you can look at this, they are, we are given the dots, right? Which represents, right? Which represents the pattern. Now, what is it that they want us to do here? They want us to determine, firstly, to draw what is going to be the fifth figure, right? So now, uh, if, let's say now, we want to draw the fifth figure, what is it that we are going to start with, right? So here you have one, then let's say this is one. Here you have one, two, three, four, this is four. Then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So this is going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So which means now what is that you're going to uh draw then the, the next one? Can you see that the increase here it's three, 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 right? So which means the fourth figure, therefore, it's going to be something like this. It's going to be uh one, two, three, then this, and then obviously this one. Again, then we come back here, right? And then here, right? Then now from here, we are going to also add three, which means this is going to be one, two, uh, three. Oh, it's okay. So which means now, yes, which means your uh, your fifth, uh, or, or rather your figure five, right, is going to look something like this with what? With uh, 13, right? With, with, with 13 uh, dots. Oh, it's okay. Hopefully this one is making sense. Now let's look at 3.1.2. Now they want us to find out what is going to be the general term of these 13, right? So to find out the general uh, term, we are going to say, look, Tn is equal to A plus N subtract 1 and D. Are we together? Then remember we said the A represents the first term, the N is the number of term, the D it is the difference, right? So the first term here, it is 1 plus N. Uh, this is N subtract 1. We said the difference here is what? The difference as you are moving here, it's three. How to get? So which means then now from here, this is one plus, then when you say three multiply by n, this is going to be three n subtract three, right? Where am I getting that? It's when you multiply it like this, right? So which means therefore you are having three n, then when you say one subtract three, then this is going to give you what? This is going to give you negative two. How to get? So basically now that is going to be the tn of this particular sequence, right? Now, so they are saying, how many dots will there be in figure 30, right? So which means here, they want us to find out what is going to be our T30, right? So which means we are still using the 3N subtract 2. But now where there is N, you write 30, then this is subtract 2, right? So 3 multiplied by 30, it's 90, right? So then 90 subtract 2. Then uh, 90 subtract 2, then this is going to give us 88 in total, right? So basically, that's what you are going to have here as your term number 30, right? Your term number 30 is going to be given by 88. Now, uh, let's look at now let's look at 3.1.4, right? Now, in 3.1.4, what is it that now you are given here? Let's just make up our space here so that we can look at then the last one. Let's get uh, now the last one they are saying which fi uh which figure will have 110 what will have 136 dots right so which means here we are going to just say tn is equal to remember we said this was negative three remember this was three n subtract two rather right so which means here this is going to be one three six is equal to three n subtract two then you are going to transpose the two this side right so which means this is going to be one three eight is equals to three n if I'm not mistaken, right? Because uh and then now when you say one uh three eight uh divide by what divide by three, what is that you're going to get? Then here you divide by three and then you divide by three, which means therefore the value of your n that you're going to find here it is going to be forty six. How to get? So, which means now the number of terms that you are going to have here, or rather the n term on this particular sequence is going to what? It's going to be 46. It's going to be figure number 46. How to get?
hopefully now all of this is making sense and you can be in a position that you can answer all these related questions right hopefully all of this makes sense and thank you very much for listening